What's going on everybody? It's Portal back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today we have the Madden NFL 22 player ratings database guys. Now this database is not the official MUT database. It's also not the official overall database. This is the official database for the players that have been released thus far. So, so far we have wide receivers, we have 99 club guys, and we have some edge rushers. I'm going to go through all of them guys. There's plenty of people here to go through. Some cool rookies, even a rookie for the Giants that I'm really excited about. The Giants, sorry. Um, first video in about a week guys, you know. Had a bit of a busy week, had some things working out in the background in terms of moving some stuff around and getting uh, setting up a new computer for the Madden season. So I have two uh, ready to rock in different locations. Point is, been a little busy. As you guys see, I got a haircut. Poodle's still alive in memory, but the hair's gone. Honestly, one of the best decisions I've ever made. I really, I, I much prefer it. But anyways, besides the point, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And comment down below. Let me know if there's one guy you're excited for so far in this ratings database. Now let's get on into it, guys. So as we go on down, start the 99 club, right? So it's gonna go an overall. Uh, it's gonna go an overall rating, but based on only like let's say there's like 30 guys total. So you're gonna go from like 99 to like 70 real fast, but you'll see. So you got Aaron Donald, of course, 99 overall, 82 speed, 90 excel. You know, usual Aaron Donald as stats. I'm not gonna go through all of them with Aaron Donald because, of course, I'm gonna go with the guys that are newer that you really want to see. Devonta Adams. What really matters for him? 91 speed. There's certain guys you're just going to check the speed, right? Hopkins, Devontae Adams, you always know they're going to be top tier route running, top tier catching, top tier spec catch. Just watch their speed. 91 and 90 for Hopkins. I honestly think that's a little bit slow. I would have liked to have seen Devontae Adams with a 92 speed at least. I honestly don't think he's as slow as a 91 speed, but it kind of underrated him. Same with Hopkins. Hopkins is actually pretty fast in real life, so I wish they wouldn't always underrate his speed as much as they do. Kind of frustrating to be quite honest, especially if you're playing franchise mode. Miles Garrett, 85 speed. Not bad. I think he could have been a little bit high. I think he's three. I think he's definitely more than three speed uh, versus Aaron Donald, but it is what it is. Uh, 96 strength, the usual good Aaron Donald stats, as well as Miles Garrett stats. Then we got Tyreek Hill. So Tyreek Hill's gonna be a 98 overall to start this year, guys. Tyreek Hill's crazy. 99 speed, 99 excel, 98 agility, 97, uh, 91 catching, and of course, guys, he's 80 carrying as well. Now, he's gonna get some other good stats like 93 jumping, 92 return, 93 toughness, uh, change direction, 99. Juke move 98, guys. This card's gonna be one of the he's gonna be one of the best players with the balls in his and that's that's the interesting thing. He's gonna be one of the best guys with the ball in his hand, right? 98 juke and 99 change of direction. In Mad in past Maddens, they like when he first became a guy, like they made him the speed, but they kind of killed his agility or juke a little bit, just a little bit, because he was already OP, but now he's got everything and he can catch. And let's check out his route running. His route running is also all threshold above 90. He's not from the terms of mutt, but in general, guys, he's going to be all 90 all across the board. His release. Tyreek Hill is the best wide receiver in the game, and it's not even close. Uh, moving on down, guys, we got Diggs. Diggs at a 92 speed. I wish he was at a little bit faster as well, but not bad. 92 speed, 94 excel. Not everyone can be, you know, Tyreek Hill, but still. Khalil Mack, 96 overall. I believe he was in the 99 club at one point, so he did come down a little bit. Julio, 95. Kind of accurate with when I was doing my player ratings where everyone would kind of land. 92 speed. Um, I wish, again, a little bit higher. I think that, like, it's Tyreek Hill, and there's everyone else. Like, and, like, it's a, it's a pretty big gap in between. I wish there was a guy a little bit closer, you know, for the gap. 99 awareness for Julio as well. You might actually drop a little bit on the Titans. I mean, I don't know statistically how well the season's going to have on a more run-heavy team with A.J. Brown as the head guy. Really just an in injury history. Chandler Jones getting his classic 94-95 overall as per usual. 78 speed, though, always on the slower end. J.J. Watt, 94, uh, 94 overall on the Cardinals now. Cardinals can be crazy, guys. They got J.J. Watt uh, from a Madden perspective, right? I, in real life, I don't know how this is going to all work out. Madden on defense, guys, they got Chandler Jones and J.J. Watt off the edge. And then you have Isaiah Simmons as a user. And you got Buda Baker. You got Byron Murphy. You got uh, Reddick. You got, or maybe not Reddick anymore. I think they might still have Reddick. But they have an overall really good, like, Madden team, right? Kyler Murray, Hopkins. Michael Thomas is going to be a waste of space this year. And 87 speed. I don't know what the heck. This is almost a Clyde Edwards and Lair bad. Like, why give, an, why give a guy as good as Michael Thomas an 87 speed? How does he keep getting slower? That's what I want to know, right? He's gotten actually slower. Like at one point he was 90, then he was like an 89. Now he's an 87. So what makes you think that every year he's getting better? He's getting slower. Does that even make sense? I don't even know where they get that metric from, but yeah, if Michael Thomas is slower now. TJ Watt 94. I thought he'd be higher coming off deep uh, defense player of the year. Cameron Jordan 93. He's getting a bit older, but still a really really good player. Keenan Allen wide receiver 88. Same same thing as Michael Thomas. Two unusable wide receivers. Von Miller. 86 speed gonna be great as per usual Amari Cooper 91 speed now that kind of murder guys that, that that's robbery um how the how the hell does Amari Cooper not faster than Devontae Adams you know how are they like in the same tier 
Amari Cooper has one of the best straight, he's one of the best straight line runners in the NFL. Like when he gets open and open, first off, he gets an open space. He's crazy with his agility. So I hope that at least did him, you know, did him good there. But in terms of speed, guys, he gets a lot of he gets a lot of big big play touchdowns because of how he's able to just outrun people. He's super fast. That is not a correct metric right there. Joey Bosa, 81 speed. Decent. Uh, Mike Evans, 90 speed. Mike Evans always has had a 90 speed again. I think he's more of a 91, 92. Imagine we've got Allen Robinson, 89, another unusual wide receiver. Guys, they are killing wide receivers this year. This is why it's always going to be Tyreek Hill, Ruggs, and so on and so forth. No one's going to be rocking with, you know, the Michael Thomases, the Mike Evans, the Allen Robinsons. Nick Bosa, 79 speed. Again, a little bit of a robbery. He looked much faster last season. Or the year before that, sorry. Not last season, his rookie year. Zadarius Smith, 80 speed. Not bad. Jalen Waddle for the Dolphins. Uh, this is going to be a fun guy. 97 speed for Jalen Waddle, 95 XL guys. If you play franchise, you know he's getting up to 99 speed. That card's going to be like Jalen Waddle's gonna be crazy. He's gonna be a Madden probably budget beast. Uh, probably get a few good cards this year. But Jalen Waddle gonna be good, good for the Dolphins. Great, great for Madden in terms of Madden. Devonta Smith only 91 speed. Now I think that's kind of dumb. I think Devonta Smith probably should have been. A, I thought he would be 93 speed all along. They killed him a little bit there. Uh, he's gonna be a good receiver though. So, so far, it looks like Jalen Waddle's the highest overall of all of them. Then we got Jamar Chase, 92 speed. So, that's great for Jamar Chase. Uh, he's going to be one of the better rookie wide receivers, but the 89 XL hurts a little bit. But he got, he's like an all well rounded wide receiver. Now, I'm kind of interested to see what his strength is looking like. If we can take a look at that. Because Jamar Chase is one of the bigger guys. You know, he's going to be, he's not the guy that you're taking down in the first. I want to see, like, they really they don't show it. I'm pretty sure I saw strength. I want to see, see toughness. I want to see strength. I would like to have seen trucking a little bit too. Jamar Chase has no spinner juke for the most part. So don't count on that. Um, toughness. I see toughness, but I don't see strength. So toughness 88. Okay, so I imagine his strength be pretty good. Yeah, his trucking is going to be a 70 pretty much off the bat, which could get up close to an 80. He's just going to be like one of those more powerful runners with the ball in his hand as a wide receiver. Elijah Moore is actually looking like a super good guy as well. 92 speed with 92, with 90 XL. But Kadarius Tony, low key, out of besides Jalen Waddles, looking like one of the best ones for the Giants. 93 speed with 92 excel not to mention he gets 93 agility and i'm pretty sure he has like a like a 95 96 change of direction yeah 95 change of direction guys which is the best of the rookie bunch it appears like Kadarius tony low key high key is the second best rookie, rookie wide receiver in madden by a large margin and of course if you're not that's not if you take a height into a fact that it probably is jamar chase but you get you get the um the change of direction with tony which you're not getting with anyone else Rashad Bateman's not all that great. 90 speed, 90 excel. Not going to be anything to, you know, write home about. But that's the entire database right there, guys. So we got the rookies at the end here. Now, so far, all we got is wide receivers and pretty much edge rushers, as you can see. There's probably more edge rushers still to go. Uh, of course, we have quarterbacks. We have half I'm excited for halfbacks. But I'm sad we saw some of the rookies, guys. Because, again, I had an idea of what these stats would look like. But the rookies are what matter to me. And, you know, being a Giants fan, I see Kadarius Tony's going to be really fun in terms of Madden. I don't know if he's going to be... Really fun in terms of real life. I can only hope, but I do know in terms of Madden, Darius Tony's gonna be one of the better rookie players to use. Now Jalen Waddle, of course, is just gonna be different, right? Oh, and of course, there's Schwartz on the Browns, guys. Anthony Schwartz, third round rookie uh, for the Browns. He's 97 speed too. So Browns is just stacked, guys. You got Baker, Odell, Chubb, a stacked O line. Anthony Schwartz. You got Garrett, Ward, Greedy, uh, Del Pitt. Guys, that team is stacked in terms of Madden. If you're playing franchise, take the Browns. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, smash the like button. Let me know if you guys like the haircut down below. Probably going to be rocking with it for as long as forever now. Because I don't really plan on going back. And yeah, guys. So we're going to get back to the swing of things. Um, it's the 27th. That leaves us with about two weeks-ish until the new Madden, guys. So we have a lot to do. A lot of catching up here to do. So hopefully we can get back into the swing. Liking and commenting always helps. So make sure you guys do your part. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.